Today I'm going to show you how I create an image inspired by vintage pinup photography with a modern twist and shooting with the Canon EOS R5. Lindsay Adler here and one of my favorite things to do is combine the old with the new. And so I love to get inspiration from old films, vintage photography, and then find a way to add my own unique twist to that photograph. And so in today's image, I wanna take you behind the scenes and show you how it was inspired by vintage pinup illustrations and photography, but then added a little bit of my own flair to the scene. So when I look at vintage pinup illustrations and photography, there's a few things that often come to mind. Um, a lot of times there is playful clothing. There's also very playful posing and it tends to be that the lighting is a little bit more high key. It's a little bit brighter, not as dramatic, not as many shadows. So that's what I kept in mind as I created this photograph. I wanted the image to be a little bit playful, a little bit sexy, and also I wanted to add a little bit of color since many of those vintage pinup illustrations do have a dash of color to them. So let me take you behind the scenes, show you a little bit of the lighting, and then I'll show you what was captured in camera and in post, and I bet you will be surprised. Taking a look here, you can see that this image was lit with only two strobes, and each strobe has a specific job. So let's see what each light is doing. Now on the left-hand side, you can see the main light, and this is a bare bulb. The reason that I chose no modifier at all is that I wanted to create very, very hard light. Hard light would give me nice crisp shadows, but also it would allow me to play with the shadows on the background. So I chose a white paper background, seamless paper, and I have the subject all the way as far back against that background as possible. So when I use a hard light, the outline of her body will actually be cast onto that paper. The reason I chose that is a lot of times in pinup and boudoir photography, it's all about the shape, the outline of the subject. And so adding that shadow into the scene would add additional interest. And so the main light is off to the left-hand side, so her shadow is kicked to the right-hand side of the body. Our second light is a large umbrella with diffusion. This is a soft light source. And I'm using this light in order to fill in the shadows. As I mentioned before, in pinup illustrations and pinup photography, it's relatively high key, there's not a lot of shadows. So this second light source is controlling the shadows. And so in the end, I had this light source maybe about a half a stop less than the main light, which means there's very minimal shadows, just enough so that you see a little bit of sculpting and the interesting shadow on the background. You'll also notice to this light source, I added a cyan gel. Now the cyan gel, it's not very noticeable, but what you'll see is adds just a little bit of color to the shadow cast on the background. Wherever the shadows are, it picks up any gels that you give it, and so that's the result that you see here. I thought it added a splash of color to the shot, made it just a little bit more interesting. For this shoot, I shot with a Canon R5, and what's great about this camera is I get all the benefits that I had with the comfort and abilities of a 5D Mark IV, but mixed with the benefits of mirrorless, like the EOS R. So it's a perfect blend of the two. Now this camera, one of the things I loved about it for this shoot is that it's 45 megapixels. We're going to take a look at the final shot and you'll see how much detail I was able to capture because of the megapixel capabilities. I was shooting with a 24 to 105 and I chose this lens because I would have some flexibility as she's moving around to zoom in for a tighter shot or I could back up and get a full length shot. All right, so let's pop over to the final image. Now, what I think you'll find quite surprising is that the image that I captured in camera, no changes whatsoever, I think it was pretty darn close to the final result. So here is the, the photograph straight out of camera. No changes, no adjustments, no changes to color, contrast, exposure, or anything. And I love this shot, I love how high key it is, I love the way that her makeup looks. You'll notice that the pose is very much inspired by vintage pinup poses. Um, and then the costuming is a little bit of pinup inspiration. But straight out of camera, it looks great. As I look at this shot, there's a couple things I wanted to change, even though I think it's honestly pretty close to spot on. Um, at first I liked the red heels because I thought it pulled in the color of the lip, but then as I see it here, I actually think it's a bit of a distraction. It keeps bringing my eye down to her feet. So I decided that I would get rid of that red color. Um, other than that, I think I was standing at a little bit too high of an angle because I was standing up slightly shooting down at the subject. I think it makes her look a little bit compressed, a little bit shorter. So I may in post want to just elongate her legs just a little bit, again, because of the height that I was at. 
And then other than that, looking at the shadow cast on the background, um, some of the shapes don't quite look as clean as I want. For example, this bump sticking out here looks like her stomach, but it's actually the side of the corset she's wearing. And then of course, you see that there's a little bit of a gap in her top, but you can only see that in the shadow. So through Liquify, I'm going to clean up those lines. So here is straight out of camera. And then this is what was achieved in post. Notice that her legs get longer. I round out the thigh a little bit. I lower her shoulders. I smooth out the shadow and I increase the contrast on her face. Our eye is drawn to light areas, areas of color and areas of contrast. And so all of those things are achieved in the face. So even though there's a lot going on in the scene, I can bring the attention back to where it belongs on my beautiful subject. I mentioned before that the Canon EOS R5 is a 45 megapixel camera. I wanna show you what that means to my detail. Now, as I zoom in, let's say that I wanna look at the detail of those crystals. I can zoom way in and I can see every crystal, actually every piece of thread and stitching on the corset. I can see her eyelashes, the strands of her hair. And so this means a couple of things for me. This means that if I wanna print large, I can print very large, it also gives me creative control. So if I decide I want to crop in later and have a shot that is a little bit tighter instead of full length, I'm going to be able to do so. Looking at this image, you can see that I wasn't trying to make an exact replica of a pinup photograph. Instead, I was trying to channel the essence of pinup photography and pinup illustrations, but to add my own style and modern twist. The image is clean, bold, strong, and graphic, but it also pays a little bit of an homage to the past. If you'd like to see more of these photo deconstructions and a little bit more behind the scenes, be sure to subscribe. See you next time.